be in court, and what? And why do you think they'd be in court in the first place? And there can't be any violence. How do you think it'd go down? No violence. Nope. Regular courtroom. Um, it would be a, um, what do you call it? Um, Long ass trial. Uh, a defamation of character suit. <laughs> that Lucifer, little bitch that he is. <laughs> Uh, because Cain would be out talking about how much more handsome he is than Lucifer. And, um, and how much stronger and more masculine. And then at one point Lucifer would go, okay, I call bullshit, enough's enough. Like, handsome maybe, masculine, no. No, so he would take me to court for that, and um, Cain would lose. Because Lucifer is pretty handsome and pretty masculine. And you know, he's a buff guy. That's my answer. What? Kane would win. Or maybe Kane would win. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I guess, I mean, now if it was Supreme Court, like it depends on how far it went up, um, Kane would win. Because there's, I don't know, I was going to say, there's not more women on the, on the judiciary, are there? What's, how many men versus women on the Supreme Court now? Three women. Three women. God, is that it? Okay, well, that's going to change. Um, um, okay, so it's three to five. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no, Kane would lose. This Alito would, never mind. I'm not going political. That's all I got for you. Kane would lose. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I loved Psych and I loved Galvant, and in both of those you got to sing, but you didn't get to sing as Kane, so I'm wondering what Kane's song would be like if he got to sing to that. First of all, that's, that's some great camera work right there. That's really good. Some say it's my best angle. Um, what would Kane sing? Yeah, or what kind of song would Kane sing on Supernatural? That's, that's a great question. Uh, Cain would sing a sweet little ballad <laughs> to his dead, dead wife. Uh, about how much he misses her, but how much he loves killing more than her at this point. <laughs> and that he was sorry, but he really likes killing people. <laughs> because he's freaking Cain. <laughs> it would be, um... And it'll be written by Alan Menken. <laughs> it'll be written by Alan Thank you. Thank you. I can't hear you when you scream things. Am I what? <laughs> oh, you repeated what? Very awesome of the musical. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. We've had, we've talked about it. I had, I had, a, I had a lunch with Robbie Thompson yes, uh, this week. Just, you know, shamelessly was pitching myself to go back to the show because just me saying, hey Robbie, put me on the show is going to make it happen, but I mean, never saw you die. Of course you didn't see me die for a reason, because he's not dead. Nobody, no crime. Nobody, no crime. You know what I'm saying? As we were eating our chicken salad sandwiches, and I said, Robbie, put me back on the show, uh, because I love this show so much, and I love the people involved on this show, and, and I like to be here meeting you people, but really, I love this, I love this cast, and I love this crew, and I love Vancouver, and I wanted to go back. Um, so my pitch is that he's in hell, and, uh, and uh, Kane and, and uh, Ruthie's character, And, uh, and I think it would turn hell upside down, and it would drive everybody crazy. And so that's that's my pitch. So if y'all want to, uh, Kane and me and Ruthie, I want to work with Ruthie. So I said, there you go. A little side note, and um, 
he paid for lunch. Actually, no, I think I paid for lunch this time. Yes, hello. Why have you waited 13 years? Are you, are you 14? <laughs> I'm really not that nice. <laughs> oh, that put some line on her, that's better. Come on, come on. Dreadful person. Believe me, I'm sorry you waited 13 years because you wasted your time. <laughs> Hi, thanks for coming out. What would you like to know? Um, I want to know what it's like to go from being a character like Seamus on Luck of the Irish yes. to being Kane and King Richard. Excellent question. Um, have you seen Luck of the Irish? <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's going to be on all next month because it's <laughs> here's a little Here's a little Seamus material for you. <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. Um, what was it like to go from Seamus McTiernan to somebody like Kane to somebody like uh, King Richard? It's schizophrenic. Um, but it is the greatest. I was going to say it's the greatest joy in my life, but I should probably say my kids. Um, <laughs> It's the second, I should say my wife. Um, it's one of the top joys of my life. Uh, and this is why I am, you know, I, I basically, I ran away and joined the circus as a kid. This is what I, I, I it's true, like, I'm a card worker. I, this, I, it amazes me that I actually get to do this for a living. And the fact that I, as a kid, said this one I do, that I'm actually doing it just still, takes my breath away at times. Um, it's, it's the most fun thing in the world. Sure, listening to my children laugh. That's great. Um, <laughs> but to go from... It, this is the good thing about being an actor. It's, it's such a gamble. It, a, just whether it works or not is, is a tremendous gamble. But then, when you're even working, you don't know what it's going to be. One job ends, and you think you're never going to work again which is absolutely true. Everyone sort of feels like, well, they're done. And, uh, and then the phone rings, and uh, this amazing opportunity can come about. So, Seamus was, I think it was one of the biggest jobs I'd ever done at that point in my career. I think it was, I was sort of guest starring here and there, and I think I was working on Judging Amy. Um, I, was, I was not judging Amy. Um, <laughs> I was on Judging Amy. Perhaps you saw it. Um, just 90 episodes of that television program. That's all I did. With you know, multiple Tony Emmy winning actress, Ty Daly. But, um, <laughs> no big deal. Um, and I got Seamus, which shot in Salt Lake City, and it was like almost a month's work, a three weeks' work. So it was a really big deal for my career. And it was. At the time, I think the most money I'd ever made, which wasn't a lot, but it was a hell of a lot to me. And, uh, and I loved it. I don't know it's that good of a movie. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come out right now and say it. I don't think I'm very good in it. I think my accent is a little... No, 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 charged, no, no, no. Oh, you don't have to be kind. But that, that is not too disparaging in any way or to say, to take anything away from it. I just, I sort of watch it, and, but I cringe at everything I do. So, so that's no big surprise there. Um, and then to, to go to somebody like Kane, and to go to, go to Kane after, after playing Lassie, they, it's, it's honest to God, it's, it's one of the reasons I would always grow a beard. We shot on site, it was six months on, six months off, and the second, what are you guys doing out there? What, what's going on in the hallway? Anything good? <laughs> Hello panel in here. <laughs> I am riveting today. <laughs> I did a thing with my hair earlier. I let it down, I toss it around. Oh good, you're here. Thank you. Come on, come on, come in. Take your seat. Take your seat in the back. Um, boy, was I talking about myself. Uh, so I would always grow a beard. 
on the off season, my hiatus beard, in the hopes that I would get a job that was beard appropriate because they tend to be more fun for me. They tend to be either bad guys or they're just, they're, they're just, you know, everybody on TV looks sort of the same and I like to look as different as I can. So I would grow this beard and, uh, and Robbie called and said, you know, we, we, Robbie and I have been talking about trying to get me on the show for a long time and my schedule never worked out and finally I had a break and they had sort of the appropriate space. And he, uh, I, I called him and said, you know, I'm free, I ain't got no job, what you doing? And uh, he texted me back and said, uh, you know, I, like in a minute, say, uh, going to the writer's room this afternoon, I'll get back to you. And sure enough, he called me back, he's like, yeah, we got something. And it was Kane. Uh, it was just to go from the goofy, silly Lasseter, who, and again, who's so clean cut and so tightly wound, to such a badass as Kane, with, you know, and the beard and all that was just, it is, it's the greatest gift. It's, it's why I do it. And then to go from Lasseter to King Richard was, it's just, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so blessed that I get to have as diverse a career as I have been given. And hopefully, hope to God that continues. Please, please, I like it too. You hear that, everybody? You hear that, Hollywood? They, they wanted to, so make it happen. Because that's how it works. You come to Nashville, and the will of the people makes your career happen. God, if that were only the trait. Hi. Wait, will you give me Hello. a signal? What's that? Is that four people or four minutes? Five minutes! I will stop being as long-winded. Hello, my dear. Hello. It's the number one Galvan fan. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Yes. This woman's done more for my show than ABC has. <laughs> it's true. Hi. Hello. What's going on? I like your Ted Cooper t-shirt, by the way. In support. <laughs> it's brand new. I haven't even gotten a chance to wash it yet. I feel a little itchy. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to ask a question from a friend on Twitter. Um, sorry, Kelly. I am not as good a friend as over there. Um, her question was really weird. Uh, but I would like to know, since you, you posted a picture of yourself cooking dinner and saying that that's your wife's favorite part of cooking dinner, what is your favorite part of cooking dinner? <laughs> I don't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Neither do I. Um, it's, we started doing, um, my wife, God bless her, doesn't cook. I don't really cook that much. Uh, so we started doing Blue Apron where basically they send you all the ingredients in a box and it's sort of foolproof and you learn how to cook new things and it's fun and technically she's supposed to be doing it with me so she can also learn how to cook with I and, and she tends to sit there and just read the instructions while we drink wine. But once it works out great for her. Um, but I swear to God, one of the best things about being on location uh, is not having to figure out what I'm cooking for dinner. It's, it's probably my second favorite thing about acting. <laughs> is that, and especially when I'm, when I'm back in town and every night around three o'clock as I just pick the kids up from school, I go, what the hell am I gonna make for dinner? Thank goodness someone else does that. I don't like, so thanks for asking. The wine part's good too. <laughs> Hello, okay, I'm gonna, I'll be faster. Okay, hi. Um... I was wondering, when you were in Galavant, what was it like to work with Tad Cooper? Tad Cooper, for those of you who don't know, was my dragon! The dragon! Um, he was played by a lizard. He was played by a, a bearded dragon. Um, Tad Cooper was the uh, worst acting partner I've ever had. He did nothing. He sat there with my hand and just did this. <laughs> Um, we had a, a rubber Tad Cooper that we used for action sequence because it's really bad. The, I'm a massive animal lover. Animal people were a little cuckoo on this show. Like they, you know, it's like we had you know, someone, rightly so, we had an animal representation person from the animal, blah, blah, blah. The lizard factory, I don't know, came out and 
So he, he was, poor little Ted, he would get cold, it's England. So we had him on a, a hot water bottle all the time, so he could stay warm. And then I'd tuck him in my, I'd tuck him in my doublet when we weren't working. I liked that. He, was a, he gave me no affection back, but I liked it. Um, but we had a rubber one for whenever it would be anything that was fast moving. If there's any possibility of dropping him or him getting injured, we would substitute the rubber one. And I swear to God, you cannot tell the difference. The rubber one did exactly what Ted did, which was nothing. But he was cute. And he became a dragon! <laughs> Favorite question? Okay, um, this question is actually from my husband. He's a big fan of the character Kane on Supernatural. Where is he? He couldn't make it today. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. So, um, the question is, is Kane is such a dark and ancient character, what kind of things did you do to help, you, help yourself get in the mindset to portray that character? Uh, as I said before, I'm really not a nice person. <laughs> so, there... I didn't do a lot. I mean, not that I'm a lazy actor, but um, I didn't. You know, when you're younger, I don't know, when everyone, my style's changed over the years. I used to, again, with the seriousness of acting and thespianism and, and really research and all this, I didn't really need to on this. The writing was so good that it was all on the page. And I. I wasn't playing a guy who, I mean, yes, I was playing a guy who was ancient, but I was just, you know, playing the relationships, and he's just a guy who wanted to be left alone, I mean, early on, he was just a guy who wanted to be left alone and live his life in the woods, and these a-holes come up to his house and start <laughs> messing with his mojo. Um, so there really wasn't a lot, uh, if that makes any sense at all. I'm a very lazy actor, apparently. Um, and, and you know, the, the relationship with the wife, that was so beautiful, and it, like, it was all in there. I didn't need to do anything else. And that tends to be the way it is with, with the best writing, you know? It's on the page, you just say the words, like you've never said them before, and you kind of pretend. That's what I do. I just pretend. And I'm totally evil. You said that you worked harder on Gallivant. I said that I what? Worked harder on Gallivant. I'm such a liar. That was the easiest job of my life. No, yes. Yes, I did. I worked very hard. Um, what did you work on the most? Like the singing or the comedy? Or can you retweet it? It was different from season to season. Um, obviously the singing. The singing I really had to... I, believe it or not, am not a trained singer. So I would go to these, um, that job took me five months to get. It's, it's uh, auditioning and acting can be really awesome when it, it just took me five months to get because they wanted an English movie star. So like they do, it's, it's a great role. So they always wanted somebody super famous to come in and do it. And they put an offer out to this famous movie star. And then, but the creator of the show wanted me because he's super smart. Um, <laughs> so we had to wait. And during those five months, and I auditioned a couple times and had to go back and forth, uh, I started training my voice and uh, trying to learn how to sing. And it's still a long, long way to go. But I would go to these voice teachers and they'd all say the same thing, like, oh, you have a lovely instrument. You have absolutely no technique whatsoever. <laughs> um, so that was the part I really started doubling down. Let me tell you, there's a certain kind of fear that probably the scariest moment of my life was being in a recording booth, singing a song written by Alan Menken, with Alan Menken standing on the other side of the glass, listening to me sing his song, and it being too high for me, and not being able to hit the note. And knowing I'm not hitting the note, and thinking I, I'm an absolute fraud, how did I get this job, I'm gonna get fired. Luckily I was already in England, so they would have, they would have had to recast, it would have been a big pain for them. But having Alan Menken come into the recording booth, and, okay, so you want to think, like, you want to think of, if this is a great Alan impression, if you know what I mean, think I'm spot on with my Alan impression. You think, you want to think, uh, you know, it's like, like a weight, like right here. And he's trying to give me vocal technique, so I, and it was just flop sweating, and just like, uh, it was the scariest moment of my life. So I vowed to never let that happen again. So uh, I really started working extra hard on the singing. Um, 
singing. I was going to give a big long-winded answer, but we don't have time. So singing. And I'm a horrible dancer, so that's, I mean, other than, other than this. Yeah. I mean, I'm an awesome Irish step dancer, but other than that, so thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Super awesome. Thanks for asking. Um, so I have a question. Oh, obviously. That's You've come okay. to the right place. I have an answer for you. Oh, um. <laughs> well, speak, woman. What is your query? If you... I have much knowledge to what you want. <laughs> so if you didn't play Kane, who would you want to have played? Anyone, anyone. Sure. Let's say that again. If I Kane. If you didn't play Kane on Supernatural, what character would you want to have played? I've never actually seen the show, so I... Um, the, uh, it's, this is totally going to sound like I'm pandering to my castmates, but I can't imagine playing anything else. Everyone else is so spot on on this show. Um, my, uh, my initial reaction would be Trickster, because he's so fun, but that's... But that's because Richard's so amazing, and he is so funny. Are you hearing this, Richard? <laughs> Tell him I said nice things about him when he comes back out. Um, it, it, I'm so drawn to that character, because I, believe it or not, I like the goofy. That was one of the fun things about Kane, is, I, I was gonna say, he, he does have a sense of humor. And I love, I love taking dark roles and making them a little funny, and I love taking funny roles and making them a little dark. That is just, I, that amuses me and keeps me interested as an actor, so, I guess Trickster. Thank you. You're welcome. I could have answered that much quicker. Hi! Howdy! So, big fan like everybody else, I'm gonna plug. Totally, awesome. loved, totally loved you in Down With Love when you asked for a Sanka. Awesome! Thank you! Down With Love, I was... Yeah. In a very briefly. Yes, yeah, like every time I watch the movie, like first time, that's Seamus. Now, that's Lassie. So. You know, you know why that line was funny? Where I said, "I'll have a Sanka." No, actually, I'm not aware. Because it has a K sound. Ks are funny. Look it up. <laughs> My name's Katie, so I'm totally. There you go. You're hilarious. Thank you. I try. So, King Richard, big Galavant fan. Um, I think I see a little bit of myself in him, like, you know, the decision to trade the Jewel of Valencia. Which, the, the tyrant part, or the... The goofy hero. making okay, the decisions part. Good. So, how much of you is in him? There's a... that's a fantastic question. There's a lot of me in everything I do. Um, again, I'm a lazy actor. <laughs> I don't like to try and figure out how to do things, so I just... Actually, you know, nowadays, I really... It's very different than when I was younger. Um, you would... It, now I just... The quickest way in is to figure out what about me is like this person. So that's, you know, what's acting 101? Hi, guys! I am telling amazingly riveting stories up here. I, I heard you say nice things about me. I heard you. Sweet. I like that. Um, right now, I'm talking about acting technique. Attaboy. Richard, would you like to know? <laughs> we, because Rich and I went to theater school together. Uh, There's no question we can't answer. The, uh, here's, okay, here's what you saying about Kane. Uh, sorry, uh, Galvin. Richard? Richard, King Richard. <laughs> I just work so much. I can't keep them straight. Um, the, uh, the vanity. Um, the ego. Uh, the puffed up sense of self and not understanding when everyone doesn't think he's awesome. Are you talking about Lisa Collins? I'm, I just walked out here. I'm just bringing a sense of... That's actually who I based the character on. I knew I, knew I recognized so, the traits. Uh, so, that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that far off. Good to know. I mean, I don't entirely believe the whole, you know, puffed up ego thing, but... Oh, Richard. That's Richard. He knows. <laughs> it's true. He, he knows. I was a dreadful in college. All right. Um, are we done? We're, no, no. We're not done. We're not done. Somebody uh, made a video, and they and it, and it won. It won. What, what they're gonna, we're going to play it right now, and then when, after we play it, you're going to give this per to the person who made the video. Awesome. So let's watch this video right now. Hang on. Wait, wait. 